Hello, my name is Celeste and welcome to A Crafter's Story. My day is just beginning, so starting my day out with a craft is probably better than coffee. I don't know, is it? Okay, maybe it's, it's, it's sort of on par with coffee. <laughs> so what I've done uh, a couple of times now is looked for ideas to make faux postcards and this is what I've come up with so I'm going to share it with you and see what you think oh I opened a, a can and <laughs> sprayed everywhere oh well um, so these are just four examples of finished semi-finished little faux postcards that I've made and I thought I'd show you some examples so it really is super super simple here is a there are some keys on the top of this one and when you turn it over it has that faux postcard look and we're gonna make one together so that I can show you exactly how I made this and you it's dirty easy guys it really is um, I'll show you some of the mistakes I've made this would be one of them <laughs> a postcard doesn't usually have this much give it's not usually as floppy as this and I realized well, it could be a nice fan but otherwise <laughs> Otherwise, it's not really going to, um, it needs a bit of weight, you know, so this one really is pretty. I also, I don't know why I did it, but I put glue down the middle. Maybe I had an idea for it. I don't know if you guys can see it as it's shining in the light. So I'm going to cover that. Um, and this one is one I made just yesterday. Um, it has a, it's also a little on the... The other thing that where the penny dropped is they kept warping on me. And I was thinking, why on earth is it doing that? And it, then it dawned on me. It's because the the paper is, it's not enough layers. There's not enough thickness to the layer. This one also, um, the paper kind of wobbled. I don't know if you can see it. Under the word bird, there's a big fold here. And that's because I use liquid glue. You can't do that on the thinner paper. It just, it kind of crinkles. And it did this, did it on this one. So I'm going to just scoot it around like this and see if maybe you can see that the crinkles. There's one pretty big one there, almost underlining the word bird. Um, there's one sticking out here. There's one there. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I, I would have preferred if they weren't there. Okay, and then... This is one I also made yesterday with some of these 3D stickers and some rub-ons. And I thought maybe I could add some rub-ons on this one just to show you what how it looks and how that works. Um, and if I have this stamp, if you don't have one, please don't think that you can't do this. I'm going to show you how you can draw this on. It really is um, something you can do by hand. Um, you Obviously the sticker is more... Oh, the sticker... <laughs> Maybe I do need more coffee. The stamp is more precise. But you know, this is ephemera. This is a junk journal. These are inserts for a junk journal. Nothing has to be precise. You can do this on your own. Okay, so I'll stick that one just over there. When I go to the dollar store, I always look for these little mini composition books. They often, um, they don't always have them. So when they have them, I grab a, just a pack or two. They come in a three pack these little books and they're, they're just super they're so cute they actually could make really nice little mini journals if I just covered that this and maybe put a age the pages inside with some coffee I'm not sure I haven't tried but this is what this little guy looks like and so what I'll do usually is just go in and cut the string loose over here and that way I can just pull pull this out from the cover and don't throw the cover away you can always use it to make a mini journal at a later stage so um, this thing comes out and I am able to just basically take a page lift it out and if there's any string just get rid of that and then I coffee stain it I quickly do a coffee stain so 
I use the dollar store coffee because it's cheap and I'm just the, the dollar store coffee and it's about a half a cup of, sorry I have coffee under my nails, I apologize. So about half a cup with I'd say a tablespoon of the coffee is usually enough. Um, but if it's not strong enough for you and you want to see your your dye, your coffee dye be just a little darker, you either can come back later and put a little extra coffee on, or you can cheat, like I'm about to do. <laughs> uh, let's put that away. And let's see, am I still filming? Yes, I'm still filming. That's that's good because that's kind of the whole the whole idea is to making a video. You need to have the <laughs> the, machine, the video maker on filming. So I've got a little bit of the coffee and I'm just going to sprinkle it on like you would with salt in a stew when you're cooking. And this is going to be up to you as to how much you want to put on. But I just felt like my coffee solution, and this is how I got the coffee under my nails earlier this morning. Um, how much coffee you put on is really up to you. I just love how much uh, it adds some interest. So I'm going to move this aside. But as I move it, so it's going to swish the coffee. And hello, cool. Okay, I mean, I'm getting excited about the wrong thing. This is not what the tutorial is about today. So I'll move this off to the side. Get that out of our way. So I went ahead... And I did coffee stain a few of these uh, because just to save some time. Uh, so this middle section here, I want to accentuate it because it is the dividing line. And with some of the, the earlier postcards that I made, I just drew a line down here with a pen or a pencil. And it serves the purpose but I don't feel like it has that aged look. So I'm going to fold my little paper in half, not with not too much, you know, I don't want to make too much of a definite fold. Just enough so that I can come in here with my ink dobber. And is this called a dobber? I wonder if Dobby from the Harry Potter would have said dobber. <laughs> okay, so I'm just being silly. Okay, and so I'm going to go in both sides. And get this inked up so that I now have a nice, definite, yet feathery type line in the middle here. Alright, so that is it for the back cover um, until you go and you stick it down. So I'd say about two weeks, maybe a week, maybe two weeks ago, I made this collage. And it is just um, a bunch of stickers, rub-on stamps. Um, this was actually a pattern from a pajamas. I think it was pajamas pattern that I put down as the base. And I made the collage. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it at the time. But I thought it looked nice on a postcard. So I went ahead and made a copy. I made a life-size copy. And this morning earlier... I what am I kicking about? It's just the coffee. I, I cut out a piece and made this guy and it came out really nicely. Now I learned my lesson and I went and put it on a little bit of cardstock. Um so there it is. It's actually made, it looks nice, really nice. I like that a lot. I've gone ahead for the sake of time and taken one of the other little coffee stained pages from the mini journal, mini composition book, and I've pasted it down. I'm going to now paste down this, which I've kind of, kind of measured off by scrinking, folding my pages, just to give me an idea of where the area is that I want on the collage paper. So let's just get some of this glue down. And I'm going to be quite generous 
because you don't ever want this to come undone. All right, so so how's your days been going? Is it, is it good? I hope it's good. Okay, let's get this. Now I want I want this to be the top piece. So I'm making sure that I'm getting this down. There you go. All down. Give it a bit of a rub because I just want to make sure all the edges stick. Okay. There we go. Why are my corners coming up? Do not. Don't you. Come. Down you go. Down. 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 Okay. They're down. Um, I have to be firm. Go down. Where's my scissors? Oh, there it is. And now we just cut it out quickly. So when I'm making this and I'm doing this on my own, I usually make a few and I set them aside and I leave the glue to dry a little bit. We don't have that time on the videos. So I cut it while the glue is somewhat wet. So it's going to maybe, some of the corners are going to lift on me. And that's okay because I can come back and just... Stick them down. Let's get that around. Oh, what is stopping me? So you might see that these corners are going to go up, but it's, you know, I'll, I'll come back a little later and fix that. All right, so we're going to bring our. What did. Oh, there it is bring back the ink and the dauber and just age up these edges so it's going to get rid of any of the the white that's sticking out we can cut it off if it's too much and get that nice frame that we get with the aging all right there you go so i'm going to do the same on this side very very quickly okay I really love this collage I don't know I have favorites and um, that I use a lot and this one definitely it's my most recent one but it's definitely one of my favorites um, it's just so much going on and it's got that sort of fall earthy just that just really nice fall earthy garden look to it and I don't know just makes me happy okay so you can just go ahead if you have one of these and just stamp it down if you don't have one um, what you could do is I what I don't have is I don't have a little square stamp like this with these little ridges that so it looks like a faux stamp or faux placeholder for a stamp and so I just draw one in. And any of you guys have one or know where I can get one? Um, could you let me know? I would love to know. I have not been able to find one. So I'm just going to draw one in quickly. And for some reason, I don't ever do this very well. But, you know, it gives you an idea of where the stamp is going to be. Alternatively, if you do have any faux sticker stamps I could always put a sticker stamp there and that that would work as well all right so now I'm going to pretend that I don't have this stamp I'm just going to because it's roughly the same size so I'm just going to put there you go and since there's more than one line, I'm going to just kind of lightly freehand this outer section. And there we go. All right, and I believe there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there's six of those, those guys. So let's just go ahead and put in six of these little wiggly lines. Three and four, five and six. 
and this is US Post Office. And let's make up, let's call this Joyville. We'll just make up a little, little town and we'll call it Joyville. And what are they? They've got something, uh, what is that? Oh, it's just numbers. All right, so we'll just copy those numbers. Three, four, nine, something. And I think that's an eight and a dash and a two. All right, there you go. You are done. So that is how easy it is. I'm rushing a little bit. You could always find um, some stencils maybe that are the right size or find a bottle cap, something that will give you the size that you need. Um, maybe you can make some of these and photocopy them and, and cut them out and um, do a better, better job of a, a rectangle than I did. But there you go. So this is done. I could come back and put some 3D elements, maybe some stickers on here if I wanted to. But for now, these two are done. So let me show you. I, I wanted to show you a tip while I have you. Um, with, this, with this one, I wanted to do more of a steampunk. I thought this might be a nice steampunk idea um, and I have some of these and I didn't realize that they were buttons I thought they were just flat little medallions so at the dollar store or at the pet store you get these uh, nail clippers right little doggy nail clippers or cat for cats as well uh, they are really good at cutting this guy off now, it's not going to get you all the way down flush to the medallion, but it's definitely going to take the bulk off the back. So I'm just going to put my hand over here so I don't shoot you in the eye. There you go. Um, it took a fair amount off, right? And so what you could do maybe here now is get a sanding block and sand it down a little, a little more. Um, or maybe just to get some of these sharp, because it's pretty sharp, sharp edges off. And then um, it will lie a little flatter on where you put where you're using it. So that's my crafter story tip for the day. <laughs> oh, and and dowels, those little sort of half centimeter, quarter inch dowels. This works great on those as well. All right, since we're not doing steampunk, and I decided to do a nautical theme instead, I have some of these rub-on stickers which I thought could, oh, yeesh, don't you, don't you do that, um, that I thought could look really nice, um, because it almost looks like sea foam, you know, like a, like a wave just crashed, and, and it's coming back, and here's the sea sand, and, yeah, so I just thought that would look way, way better than the steampunk idea, Get that down there. I should hurry up because I'm probably running a little over time. And let's see. Yep, that'll that'll be nice. I wish. Oh, you know what would have been really nice if I had a, a little rub on of a um, of a seahorse. That would have been nice too. I love seahorses. They're just so mysterious and they're quiet. And, and, and unassuming and, and, and pretty and just really and there's so many different um, species some of them actually look like leaves so you think it's a leaf or algae or, or a sea plant of some sort in the water and the next minute this thing goes swimming off <laughs> you think oh, okay that was that that's a seahorse they're just so mysterious and intriguing Love seahorses. All right, let's see if I did enough on this one to get it lifted. Oh, come on. Up you go. Up you go. I, I, oh, no, 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 no. Gotta get. I might have put too many of these down for the time we have, but let's see. All right, so that one's down. That's good. Let's see if we got this one, this biggie. 
and then we might just I might just move on and come back to this because you guys can see what it's going to look like yeah I think let's do that so I will come back and rub the rest of these on and you'll be able to uh, you ha you get the idea of what this one's going to look like right and maybe I can come in with some words I think that might be nice and so here I did use the stamp this is one of my earlier tries and I did not use the ink dubber to to do the ink I just did a, a pencil line which I don't like I'm going to try and fix that but um, that one is done too so thank you so much let's bring some of these examples back thank you so much for joining me today and coming on this this journey with me I'll turn that over so you can see and I hope that you have fun making your own postcards. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Bye-bye.